Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about all of our bad habits. Yes, that is correct, our bad habits. Now you can't sit here and tell me that you don't have any because you'd be lying. We all have bad habits, whether they're minor, major, <clears throat> or somewhere in between, we all have them. So in today's video, we're all just gonna be raw and real about our bad habits and the habits that we would like to change this year in 2023. So without further ado, I'm not going to do much talking. Make sure you guys give this video a like. Make sure you also hit that subscribe button. And also drop a comment below on what bad habit you are trying to achieve and break the most this year. Alright, let's okay, head on guys. So as we talk about our bad habits, I'm going to also be coloring at the same time. Because, um, screw it, why not? Um, so I just want to start off this video by saying my first bad habit that I would like to break is the time of day that I wake up. Um, so I always wake up at an inconsistent time right now, or at least in the last few months. Um, I used to do a really good job of waking up on time, which would be like right when I needed to. But recently, and I'd say the last like three months or so, even maybe longer, four months, I've been struggling really badly with waking up on time. And when I say I'm going to wake up, and it's starting to impact my pro uh, my, pro my productivity level. There we go. Um, so, my goal is to wake up when I'm supposed to. So on my days off, I'd like to be up by 5.30, 6 o'clock. Or did I say that right? On my days off. Is that what we're Yeah. On my days off, I'd like to be up by 7, 8 o'clock, my bad. And on the days that I work, I'd like to be up by 5.30, 6 o'clock. Um, just so that I can hit the gym and do the stuff that I need to do in the mornings. Um, so that also heads on to our second habit that I would like to break or form this year. And it is, I would like to stop eating a lot of big meals past about 10 o'clock at night, maybe even 9.30. It really depends on when I get off of work. Sometimes I work late um, and sometimes I get off on time. So depending on the time frame in which I work will depend on what time I stop eating. But I just don't want to eat a really big meal right before bed because I notice that it interrupts on how well I sleep. Um, also eating a really big meal at night just isn't good because it causes you weight gain, um, this, that, and the other. So preferably for me, I would just not like to eat a really heavy meal that late at night. Um, so yes. Next is I would like to also watch the amount of processed food that I eat this year or junk food in general like pizza, fast food, um, pop, blase blase. Um, so far I am the first week of the year. We are now January 8th. I did start on January 1st eating clean and healthy. Um, I did start my first meal prep which went successfully. I am so happy about that. Um, so starting tomorrow, I will be starting my next week of meal preps for work and stuff like that. And I'm so excited and I cannot wait. Also on this, I would like to start going to the gym more consistently. Um, I was doing good for a while there about going to the gym six days a week. Um, and then some stuff happened. I got into a car accident and it kind of hindered just a little bit on my travel. And I use that as an excuse to kind of stop me and then just little things since then have come up like me getting sick, more car stuff like tires, other car repairs that are minor, stuff like that. So my goal this year is to get back in the gym and dedicate myself to my health. Um, I absolutely love getting in the gym. It kind of is rough some days and I feel discouraged some days like I don't want to go. But I'm actually starting to notice um, a difference in how I feel personally and I notice a difference in my body. So it's honestly boosting my confidence like a ton. So I am starting to actually really fall in love with going to the gym. So this year I'm going to be in a committed relationship with the gym. Um, so far I kind of flopped a little bit on the gym. Um, this first week I went about half the time I was supposed to. I went three days and I skipped three days. So I'm trying again this week to go all six days, so keep our fingers crossed that it will happen. Um, but I very, um, I'm very confident in myself and my ability to go, so I'm just going to hang tight and I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm just going to breathe and try again. Anyway, let's continue and move on. Um, so 
I know <laughs> this is more of a counteracting or a hypocritical action right now as we speak, kind of. But this year I would like to work on my appearance more. Now with that being said, when I mean working on my appearance, um, I have a really bad habit about just going out in public even if I look kind of bummy or am I feeling kind of bummy. So I just go out. Um, I don't want to do that anymore. I realize that you never know who you can meet when you go out in public even on your bad days. Um, and you never want to meet someone who could potentially make a really big and or, and or important impact on your life. Kind of dress crappy. Um, say you meet somebody, ooh, my nose is a key. My bad. Say you meet somebody who could help you shift your career or, you know, just something in an important manner and you're just not really dressed to impress and then that impacts them even wanting to speak to you. Like, do you know how many people you guys walk past a day that you don't even know what they do for a profession or who they even are? Like, you could be walking past producers, filmmakers, graphic designers, fashion artists, just regular artists, music producers. Like, you do not know who you're walking past, so make sure you always dress to impress. Even if you think it's minute, you guys don't ever know when or who you're gonna run into. And I am about to make a mess. Um, no, that is not what I mean by that. Um, but I stand by that. Now, after this last year of um, just experiencing and growing, I stand by that statement so much. Make sure you just go out. It also helps you feel better. I notice on the days that I'm feeling crappy and I fall into trap of being um, uh, mopey and unmotivated. I'm just like, oh, let me just wear what I'm in and just quickly run up to the store and do what I need to do and like screw who sees me I don't really care I'm not here to impress people like I'm trying to change that mindset because no I'm not here to impress people but I am here to impress people at the same time because I am here to make a face for the business I'm running and if someone sees me out in public like that what does that say for my business my face anyway let's move on from the appearance um I guess this is like a touch into appearance it is about um, dental and personal hygiene. Now I have, um, I'd say pretty decent dental hygiene and average um, personal hygiene like that, but I'd like to get a little bit more like on top of it. Um, at nighttime, I do brush my teeth on average two times a day, but I would like to get three times a day. I know that's what your dentist says, but your girl is struggling. Um, I most definitely brush in the morning and at night, but it's kind of hard to brush while I'm at work. Um, every once in a while do I miss an at nighttime brushing or in the morning time brushing? Yes, yes I do, but it's not very often, but I'd like to stop doing that um, because it's just not good for my health and for my person. Um, I really have bad teeth because growing up I was never enforced to brush my teeth like I was supposed to. I mean, yes I was, but I wasn't at the same time. Like I do remember being told to brush my teeth, but I was never really one to do it when I got to my older years until now, like in the past say six years or even like five years, I've taken my personal health more seriously um, than I did as say a young adult or a teenager um, or even a child. So I've spent the last four years really working on getting my dental health in order and I'm continuing to do so. Um, I have braces in the plans for about the next year or so. Um, I have to do a little other dental works like crownings here and there, um, some wisdom teeth pullings, but braces are the next step after that. Um, and then when it comes to my physical hygiene, um, I happen to be lazy some nights. Like, um, I shower every single night for the most part. Do I skip a shower here or there? Yes, I do. But it makes my face so greasy. I can't do that. I gotta keep up on my skincare and on my hygiene when it comes to that because my acne is so bad. Okay, moving on. Um, I'd also like to stop spending so much meaningless time on my phone. I realize I fall trapped into spending a lot of time on social media when it's not really necessary or applicable to me in that time frame. Um, I spend a lot of time not really focusing on certain things or tasks at hand when they're necessary and I honestly need to do a better job of doing that and actually um, 
you know, getting off my phone and just detoxing from social media in general. Um, so I'd also want to in turn take that time to start learning things like painting. I want to start reading more, maybe doing some puzzles. I don't really know, just anything to challenge my person. Um, but social media just ain't it. Continuing on, um, one second. I also want to stop having like pointless relations or relationships, meaning like friendships, just um, stuff like that in general. I realize I spend a lot of time just kind of casually going with the flow and sometimes that's okay, but sometimes that's just not necessary. Um, I've caught myself just sitting around for hours, just hanging out with friends pointlessly. Um, yes, memories are being made, but sometimes I'll push off necessary things that I need to do in order to hang out with people and I notice I need to stop doing that because it's pushing off my hopes and my dreams and the stuff that I need to do as a person to grow. Um, I just noticed that the time I spend doing that, not that I don't enjoy being around the people that I love or this and the other, but you know, I need to spend specific time for friends and family and then I also need to spend specific time for actually focusing on the work and my goals that I have at hand because I'm not going to make it to where I want to be in life if I don't actually set up the time necessary to do so. Um, so that's probably one of my other big things to do this year is to really focus on the time frame necessary to do the things that I want to or need to as a person. Um, but with that also being said, I need to stop telling myself that I can't or that things are so hard all the time. Um, I realize that I stop myself from doing a lot of um, ideas when it comes to content and other things because I just think it's going to be too hard or too much or too much work or this, that, and the other. And it's really honestly, in my opinion, hindering my ability to create some really awesome content. Um, just like now, I feel like you guys wouldn't want to sit here and listen to me talk in color. Um, I feel like you guys would find that boring, but honestly, I feel like the people who enjoy this will get attracted to it. Um, so, I'm okay with it. This is the content that I like making. Um, so I'm just going to continue doing the things that I like and the things that I love. And I'll continue doing what I need to to attract the audience that I would like to attract um, on my own needs. Anyway, um, with that being said, I know I keep saying that one, but all these, all these points like tie into each other one after another. Um, but that was kind of the goal of my bad habits is I wanted to break the things that kind of had a domino effect on each other. So that's really the point of all of these is to break the domino effect bad habits. Um, but one of my biggest and when I say biggest bad habits is I am a procrastinator, guys. <laughs> I am such a big procrastinator. It is not even funny. Um, so to be honest with you guys, oh shoot, I messed up I think on my drawing oh no no I didn't I did it right never mind your girl is just freaking out I did it correct okay um I didn't stop procrastinating guys like just for example this video um to start out with um this video I procrastinated quite a bit on making um, I didn't really mean to, but I did it anyways. Um, so I was supposed to record this video like a week ago, but I ended up pushing it off and pushing it off and pushing it off because your girl is so lazy sometimes and I just don't know why. Um, I think that comes with my depression and anxieties that I have as a person. But this year is all about me breaking those bad habits once again and trying to overcome my mental health problems and things like that because it is time to get shit done. I am not gonna get anywhere, like I said, if I keep pushing this stuff off, if I keep making excuses, if I keep putting time for other people and not enough time for myself, I'm not actually gonna achieve the things and the stuff that I've been working so hard for. 
or I've been trying to work so hard for if I keep up with these bad habits. So my biggest goal this year is to stop procrastinating on the things that I know I need to be doing and actually start taking the time um, needed to get stuff done. Um, next on my list of things that I wanted to start breaking or bad habits that I didn't want to do anymore is I really want to stop saying no at certain times but also learning when it is okay to um, say yes. So vice versa, I want to stay, stop saying yes at certain times and learning to say no at others. Um, so with that being said, like I will say no to going out and hanging out with people sometimes because I get too caught up in my content making that I don't actually allow myself the opportunity to go make other content like um, vlogs and stuff of going hanging out with people because I've been invited out so much in the recent days but I've let myself get in my own head about it and I've been just kind of pushing people off in some ways and telling them no when I should be going out and then vice versa. Um, I've been saying yes at some of the wrong times and staying in and not really doing anything at the wrong times and not getting stuff done. So. I have such a bad habit of doing both things and then procrastinating on top of it. Um, I'm really over this bad habit lifestyle, so that is definitely something I'm struggling to get over with this year. And I know other people my age can kind of relate to that, um, or especially in my situation who have been through like similar things to me, you can understand that um, procrastination happens, but I'm going to work tooth and nail this year to get over that. Um, another one of my big uh, bad habits that I want to get over this year is getting through my doubts and fears and anxieties and worries like I was saying before and really starting to learn to have faithfulness in myself and in the universe and in God and in the higher powers around me because um, I just know miraculous and crazy things happen that are just out of my control in life. Um, there's so many unknown things and there's so many weird things in life that you just can't control that I want to learn to submit to life in more positive and influential and good manners but at the right and correct time because I have a really bad habit of doing it at the wrong time if that makes sense for you guys um but yeah anyway continuing on with these bad habits um, I really want to stop smoking so much. Um, I've been kind of smoking weed or marijuana since I was like 16 years old. Um, and I really want to start controlling and monitoring and changing the way and the manner in which I smoke. Um, I've realized that I smoke too much at the wrong times and it makes me lazy or it makes me unmotivated and it makes me procrastinate a little bit and not get stuff done or I'll push the things off that I need to do because I want to smoke or this and the other so um, one of my biggest things I want to do this year is start to only smoke um, about at night time when it's time to relax you know kind of how people drink a beer or something like that I really want to start using it more so like people use alcohol but I'm really just not an alcohol kind of drinker so yeah that is kind of what I want to do and also I realized that I spend way too much money on it right now if you guys seen my last video um, I mentioned how one of my big goals that I'd like to get or achieve this year is to get my house done and if I'm spending so much money on stuff to smoke I can't really spend that money on my house so I in turn need to take this time to um, spend it on my house and do the things that I need to for my home. Um, I also need to when it comes to the whole not making excuses or procrastinating at the certain times I need to stop making um, excuses and it's really not excuses but I really need to set more time aside for family I get so caught up in wanting to make sure that I'm making content for YouTube and this that, and the other that I haven't really set too much time out to spend with family 
and I really need to because life is once again very short and we don't get this time back um, so I really need to make sure I'm spending this time to cherish and make memories with my loved ones before I don't have that time with them um, because the day just keeps going on and we don't get this time back it just keeps pushing forward um, so I definitely need to do that but once again finding the correct personal work life home balance is really what I'm pushing to gear for this year. Um, another one of the things that I want to do this year is I want to stop thinking so negatively of myself. Um, I have a really bad habit of thinking very down and poorly on myself when it comes to my physical appearance, when it comes to my ability to do things, um, and really just about myself in general. Um, I really just don't want to live that way anymore. I'm noticing that it's hindering my life and my ability to live in a happy manner. So in order to live how I want to live and live a little bit more positive, um, I'm going to start to try to say more positive affirmations about myself, about my person, about my life, about the things that I want to achieve um, because I need to start thinking more highly of myself or I don't know. Really, I don't have an answer for that one, but in general, I just don't want to live that way anymore, period. Just don't want to do it. Um, I also want to stop wasting time once again on things that don't make me happy. Um, that kind of goes in with the negativity. If I'm focusing on things that don't make me happy, I can't really think positive of myself because then I beat myself up over my actions and the things that I do. So in order to kind of correlate and do that domino effect with my habits, I really want to start doing things that make me happy and not wasting so much time on the things that don't. Um, because once again, life is short. I will keep saying that in this video. Life is short. You don't get this time back. Please live your life to the fullest and do what you need to to make yourself happy. Um, because we are losing people each and every day. And I just want to be able to live. I want to be able to live as stress-free as possible um, in a very chaotic world that is built to make you stressed. <laughs> All right. Um, and then last but not least on my list of bad habits that I would like to kind of break or not really engage or act in or upon anymore this year is I want to stop being such a quote unquote shallow person or meaningless person I guess you would say. Um, I really don't know how to describe this but personally I've been having a hard time finding depth within myself. I've been finding a hard time finding what makes me happy, um, just finding me as a person. I want to find new hobbies, new interests. I want to develop new, more positive thoughts. And I just want to really change the environment around me in which I surround myself. Um, I want to uplift those that are around me, yes, but I also can't uplift myself to be able to in turn uplift those around me if all I'm surrounding myself by is negative, toxic, just sluggish, draining, vampire energy. I can't do it any longer. If you guys agree with me, please comment down below. Hallelujah. Please end the toxicness. Something. Because I know that this last year or a couple years since the COVID pandemic started, I swear the most toxic crap has been happening to so many people. Um, and it's just about time that we start living in more a harm and a harmonic peace with ourselves and those around us. I really want to be more connected and more um, just present with my surroundings this year and moving forward. Um, I really, once again, I think the whole goal, whole point of this is finding a good work-life balance. I think that's my biggest bad habit is finding a good positive balance within myself and a great work-life balance to keep me motivated and pushing to move forward. Um, but yes, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that I achieve all my goals and um, shut down all these bad habits that I've been mentioning in this video. I will touch back with you guys maybe a little bit later in the year to see what habits we've switched and what habits that we haven't and still need to work better on. But my goal for you guys, like I said previously in this video, is to comment one or more if that is what you want to do. Um, bad habits down below that you guys would like to break this year in 2023. And let's work together to try to live a more happy and beautiful life because 
we deserve it. We deserve it and owe it to ourselves, my loves. So until next video, stay beautiful, stay happy, stay wonderful. Peace out, babes.